Now, looking at the Armand Knight once he's actually in his saddle, you can actually see from here, even now looking at it, we have the crop, an extended part of the saddle, which again protects that area, the gonads, the femoral artery, the femoral nerve, from any potential attacker coming in along here. All I'm presented with as a potential attacker is a wall, quite literally, of steel. Even the areas that are exposed in this armour here and here would normally be covered by mail. Mail which would be, make it very difficult for any kind of slashing attack, not that that would be particularly easy anyway, but a penetrating attack would also be quite difficult because I've got to break the mail as well while he is moving, his horse is moving, and I've got literally three quarters of a ton of horse here, plus him, which is going to knock me over quite easily. Here at the back, we have the raised cropper of the saddle. This, again, keeps the knight very, very much in a position. As he comes into contact, especially if he's uh, coming in with a lance, it's going to push him backwards. This cropper will actually mean that he's not pushed out of his saddle. It also has a secondary uh, purpose of hitting or stopping anything going again into the buttocks, into the intestines, and again straight up into the central artery or into his abdomen from underneath here. So you can see he's pretty much covered. He's literally a piece of steel coming at you at high speed. Now, just to give you an idea of how difficult it is for a fully armoured man to get off of a medieval saddle, we well, so far have actually had to take off mats, gauntlets, and helm, so you can see what he's about to do. I'm now going to have to assist him because he's not going to be able to get his hand over the cantle here, or sorry, the pommel, or the cantle at the back. Okay, so stand up. That's it. So you can see this, the cantle and the palm of the toe will in fact form not just an obstacle to somebody attacking him, but they also secure the knife so securely that it's unlikely he's going to be able to get off in a rush without coming off a horse and injuring himself, which would be probably more tissue injuries at the same time. So this saddle itself can in fact enter as a trap.